Sunday night and the big story on Action News is developing right now as the intense manhunt goes on for a gunman who opened fire at a crowded house party in South Jersey. At least two people were killed, 12 injured, shocking the quiet rural community where the mass shooting took place. These shots rang out just before midnight at a home on East Commerce Street in Fairfield Township, Cumberland County. That's about 50 miles south of Philadelphia. Action News reporter Jacqueline Lee joins us live from Fairfield Township now with the latest. Jacqueline. Walter and Sarah, for the last few hours, we have seen a steady stream of people arrive at the house where the shooting took place. People are here either to help clean up or collect their belongings from last night. I just spoke with someone who was at that party. She says she is absolutely traumatized. And as you guys said, now the search is on for the murderers. A 90s themed birthday party with hundreds of people in attendance in Fairfield Township, Cumberland County went terribly wrong Saturday night. John Fuqua says thankfully his nephew made it out alive. He was running for his life. He got on the ground. He had to crawl. He stepped over a dead body, a dead body that would eventually be a young man that he grew up with. He crawled over another young lady that was on the ground bleeding. It was carnage everywhere. Around 1150 PM Saturday, officers started piecing together that a mass shooting was underway at a home along East Commerce Street. I got three individuals gunshot wounds. All are possible DOAs. Got four down, four, down four shots. We start seeing cops flying down the road, state troopers coming down this way, corners, helicopters in the air, and I'm like, this, this is nuts, man. Officials later announced a 30-year-old man and a 25-year-old woman were killed. 12 other adults were injured. Something like this reaches all of us in the town. All of us are heartbroken and, and devastated. Residents say the trouble started when people from a neighboring party showed up to the home, then a rapid fire of gunshots. It's almost like they trapped them in that yard. They ain't know which way to go. This is an example of the black cloud that's over us right now by a handful of bad apples, but we have to change that. Community leaders say the first priority is to make sure the kids are okay, but the area has dealt with hardship recently. We've been working so hard to um, get things turned around, and um, so this is definitely a setback. And community members tell us it will take a while to bounce back from this. New Jersey State Police have not announced any information in regards to a suspect or a possible motive for the shooting. Tomorrow, Governor Phil Murphy will be holding a press conference in regards to this mass shooting. It will take place at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We are live in Fairfield Township. Jacqueline Lee, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. Jacqueline, thank you.